Hello YouTube once again. Um, this time I'm going to be doing uh, the review of the phone. Uh, here's my dog right here. I don't know if you can see her. There she is. Um, let me zoom in. Okay. Well, let me just take you over physical aspects of the phone before I turn it on. Uh, a lot of people complain about the keyboard. I think it's a good keyboard. I can type fast on it, but I would suggest getting this phone only if um, you have relatively small hands. Uh, the screen, touch screen, as I mentioned before, it's a good screen. I think it's good at least. Uh, 64,000 colors. Like I said before, send, N key, a directional pad in the middle. There's the phone button here, the home slash application buttons here, the messaging button, and the calendar button. Uh, all three of these buttons, it's basically all the uh, programmable buttons besides the home button, can be option, click, to go to another application or do another function. Um, speaker up here to listen. Um, there's a little hole down there for the mic. We have the charging port, which is plugged in. Let's see if I can zoom in even more. Alright. Uh, right here is the data port and a 2.5 millimeter headset jack. That means you got to get an adapter, which is kind of disappointing, but what are you going to do? Okay. Um IR port. I don't know why Palm includes them anymore. I don't think anybody uses them. Under here is the micro SD slot. Um I'll show you that later. I have a case on it by the way. It's a rubber skin. Uh stylus which Steve Jobs loves so much. If you watch the keynote video introducing the iPhone, you'll see that he loves these things. Um, 1.3 megapixel, megapixel camera with a little mirror thing that you can look at yourself when you turn it around, but it doesn't really work that well. Very loud speakerphone. Loudest speakerphone I've ever heard before. Be it Blackberry, a normal phone, the iPhone, and... Uh, Windows Mobile device. Um, programmable button right here. Press and hold. I have it set to bring the camera up. A volume rocker here. And of course the uh, silent slash uh, vibrate button. And that's basically it for the um, Hardware, like I said before, it's a uh, 312 megahertz processor. Can never get the camera right. All right, so let me turn it on. And I don't know if you saw before. I'll just turn the brightness up. Um. I do have third party apps installed on the phone. Um, let me get the stylus out. Okay, here we go. First one is my Centro. This is nothing big. Uh, this is just a register your phone. Uh, it's basically got a manual inside it, and you can get some bonus software. Like so. And, by the way, if you don't have a data plan, you don't have to download through the phone. You can go online and get it, too. So you don't run, like, a $50 data charge on your bill. And to get back, you just press the home button. Alright. Today is an application I have installed. 
um, it's free and basically just mimics the Windows Mobile Today screen yep uh, aim pretty self-explanatory um, AW Solitaire that's a game comes with a Centro bonus software you have to download it Big Clock it's a clock pretty obvious um, Bluetooth it's got 1.2 not 2.0 Bluetooth calculator calendar I'll show you the calendar um, does month view obviously week view day view and the much better agenda view which shows you everything that you need to do um, camcorder camera this the camcorder records in YouTube mode basically 320 by 240 or something like that um, camera uh, takes pictures in 1280 by 1024 I want to say contacts opens up the phone app um, card info is just info about the uh, micro SD card you have plugged in um, converter is just a converter like units of measurements and stuff like that core players media players it's not free Diddlebug is free it is a touchscreen note taking app Diddle Snap comes with Diddlebug. Um, it hasn't worked on the Centro. It's supposed to take screenshots, but that doesn't really work. Documents. Uh, professional Edition comes with... It's not Premium Edition. Professional comes with the phone. And basically, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, and text. And it's actually better than Windows Mobile Office because it can actually make PowerPoints, not only read them. I go in here and I say new sorry it's not focusing. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. I'd say new PowerPoint. And you can just it's ba very basic but hey what are you gonna do? Um opens documents does graphics so it kind of does get messed up but it's actually very good for what it is and it comes with a phone it's like $50 value so I'm not complaining 